What's up? What's good, Sato? It's the sensei. Bow to your sensei. Bow to your sensei! Okay. Back again for another reaction and review. So today I'm going to be checking out a track from Young Thug's new album, Punk. I've listened to the whole album except for this song. And honestly, I love it. It feels like a part two to Beautiful Thugger Girls a little bit, but it's less upbeat than a lot of Beautiful Thugger Girls was. But I still like this um, melodic vibe that we're getting from Thug, this relaxed flow. Um, it's, it's crazy to see all the different personalities and sides to Young Thug. I mean, he's just the man who can do it all. From trap to pop to country to r and I mean, what, what can't he do, honestly? And that's the reason why I love him so much. He's got to be one of my top five rappers at this point. And Mac Miller is also a top five rapper for me. Uh, I've got multiple tattoos that are Mac Miller themed. And I've even got a Thugger tattoo as well. So this is uh, hopefully going to be a pretty meaningful track to me. And I was very curious of... Did they record this song together, or was this something that was put together after Max passing? And I was reading about it, and turns out apparently this song was recorded the day before Mac passed. So that's pretty heavy, um, kind of scary to think about. But I'm excited for this track. I think we'll be in for a good one. I've heard good things about it so far. So let's go ahead and get right into this one. Oh snap! Sorry, I just like froze up because. The so I realized the song's called Day Before, and then I connected that this song was recorded a day before Mac Pass, so I don't know, just kind of weird to think about, but yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this one. Day Before by Young Thug featuring Mac Miller. Yeah. Sounds like we got a little ukulele. It's a double OP on this on. Shit, he was talking brazen and law. No, the nigga. I ain't trying to give him a chance to kill me or take the stand on me. You know, I just had a hundred thousand pieces of rand on me. I had a hand in a dog room so she can't say malicious. I tried to take back all the watches, rings, and the niggas. She said I'm taking full advantage because I'm never stressing. Cause I had feelings for this girl that daddy owned the wrestlers. Don't get me wrong because it ain't nothing but they money, nigga. All right, this album and also this song is a good, uh, opportunity for me to point out like you can't say that young thug doesn't talk about anything like throughout this album there were a couple tracks where he was kind of telling a story um letting you get a peek inside to his life and though he might not always talk about very deep stuff you know sometimes it's superficial things you can't discredit him and say that nothing he raps about is meaningful which i respect i don't always want to hear meaningful deep rap but sometimes I do, and sometimes I just want to hear regular stuff that I can chill and vibe out to. So that's something that I enjoy about Thug. He gives us both sides of that. I own figures. I was bringing in the racks. She was steady shopping. I was talking big bills, all colors, nigga monopoly. I ain't tripping, bitch. I'm shopping in the damn shady. Super different. I even stood out on my own partners. Since a kid, I've been a dresser. That's another. I was seeing my diamonds green, piss poor pot. Oh, yeah. Bitch, talk to him while I'm sleeping, yeah, yeah. Swimming in the living like deep end, yeah, yeah. All I ever needed was an alibi, yeah, yeah. I don't need a motherfucking reason, yeah. Out of mind, so I keep busy. Everything a hundred, I'll never leave a fifty, yeah. Did my own half time, and fall simple. What the fuck you think I'm rich for? Why you think I'm always talking shit with my hand on my dick? And the creepy bitch turned to a strip. Dude. This whole weekend has really made me be like, God, I miss hearing Mac. He was criminally underrated. I mean, I think he just never really got the props he deserved because of the first couple of projects that he came out with, you know, Kids and Blue Slide Park, and people thought he was just like a little fun white boy rapper. But he was a lot more than that. Like, he actually was a lyricist. He had stuff to say, but he also had crazy flows and very impressive wordplay. You know, if you haven't taken the time to listen to some of Mac Miller's full projects, I definitely recommend you going back and doing that. And uh, with Faces just now coming out on streaming, it's a great opportunity for you to go get on that as well. Personally, Faces 
is my favorite Mac Miller project of all time. He just was going through a lot and he was very open about it on that project. And it helped me get through some stuff. I know it helped a lot of people get through some stuff as well. I don't know, it's just a very raw project. It's an odd project, you know, it puts you in a trance and you could tell he was in a very weird headspace at the time, but it still sounded so good and he still was so mentally agile. It was crazy. So definitely go stream Faces by Mac Miller. Show. It's what it is though. Yeah, it's what it is though. Yeah. Bring me along, take your ass home If it ain't another million, I ain't picking up the phone Phony motherfuckers always sitting on the throne All I want some pussy, baby, give a dog a bone Yeah, yeah, I don't need a lot, but I got a lot I don't need a lot, but I got a lot Yeah, 200 for the whip and the parking lot Everything cut and turn the shit into a barber shop Swear I'm always shining, couldn't tell you if it's dark or not just a couple things I thought about, yeah, yeah. I think... From what I'm hearing, like, I definitely think that they recorded this together. And it wasn't just, like, a verse sent to one another. Um, just because... The song doesn't sound very refined, but I think that was intentionally done, you know? Because I think probably... Thug didn't want to mess with the track very much after Max passing. But I would imagine Thug knew that he was dropping his album the same day that Faces would be coming out, and so it was kind of like a little nod to Faces coming out on streaming. This is very cool. I think it's it's interesting because like Thug didn't really rhyme that much in his verse, but I I still thought he sounded cool. I don't know. It it, it sounded like both of them were just like high and chilling in the studio when they made this and they were just like messing around together seeing what they could do. I guess I had paused it at a bad time. There was only like 10 seconds left, not much to go out on. But uh, yeah, it's a cool song. And I, I look at it as a good outro to Thug's album as well. It kind of fits right in there with the unique beats that used real instruments, you know, like you had guitar um, on some of the beats on Thug's album, you had piano, and now you've got ukulele to throw in too, which is super cool. I don't think it's too often that you hear people rap over a ukulele, but that's just, that doesn't even surprise me because Young Thug's creativity seems to be limitless at times. I don't really want to give this track a rating from 0 out of 10, just because I don't think it was fully finished, but I think it was meant to be put out unfinished. I did enjoy it though, and I will come back to it. I feel like it's got me in my feels now, kind of weird. I don't know if I've ever reacted to anything Mac Miller, so now I kind of feel weird doing it on camera just because he's like such an influential rapper to me, but rest in peace, Mac, for sure. Um, I got right here on my arm, Memento Mori, and uh, that means remember you're mortal. So just take care of yourselves, y'all, and remember the human body can't always withstand everything that we put it through. So uh, definitely keep that in your mind. But if you all enjoyed my reaction to this one, please go ahead and drop a like on the video. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you all have a sensational day. <laughs> <laughs> Sensational. And I'm out. Peace.